Rihanna. What's the deal? It's your folk shock of the urban philosopher. I wanted to share my thoughts with y'all very quickly. So yeah, you know, um, I've been talking about the uh, the um, Henny, you know, a little uh, talking point here and there. And I've been telling y'all that I'm going to make a video about it. And um, I decided to go ahead and do that today. Now, if you do not know, Henny is short for the alcohol beverage, Hennessy, uh, a popular uh, alcohol beverage in the so-called black community. And so I thought I'd talk about it today because, you know, I was on Facebook some months back. I made a video about this on my last channel before it was shut down. But I seen a video uh, a couple of while. I mean, not a video. My mind getting tied up. I seen a post on Facebook a couple of months back, and um, it was like these generic Viagra brands, and they had the the models. They were brothers. They were so-called brothers, and they were young so-called black men. And so uh, people were like wondering, like, hold on, like, why do y'all got them for a uh, so-called spokesperson? You know what I'm saying? For this brand and stuff like that, right? And so, you know, people just kind of was like, dang, you know, what's crazy? That's crazy or whatever. And so I had decided to make a video about it. And, you know, just speaking on it today, uh, they're trying to target their audience because the truth of the matter is, uh, especially oftentimes in the streets, you know what I'm saying, uh, that Viagra shit is uh, popping among some brothers out here in the streets, young brothers. And the reason why that stuff is more popular today is because a lot more black men are out here living that hip hop, you know what I'm saying, lifestyle, man. The Ciroc, the Hennessy, you know. I always laugh when the so-called black woman get the Hennessy for uh, the so-called black man for his birthday, you know, and drinking that syrup as well, you know what I'm saying, on that codeine. You know, brothers, our prostates are struggling, man. You know what I'm saying? That's where a lot of these rappers get the time from. I, I, just, want the, I just want the head, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> a lot of these dudes cannot perform, man. These dudes is empty. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of that has to do with the fact that, you know, they are living that lifestyle. A lot of so-called black men are living that lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Drinking every day, Hennessy, Ciroc, you know what I'm saying? Or every weekend, you know what I'm saying? We going out and stuff like that. And some brothers might come in and say, no, it's just me. Well, hey, you know, if that's not you, that's not you. More than likely, if you're a young brother, early 20s, See, you know, you can experiment a little when you're in the game, when you're around there. This probably ain't gonna be for you, you know what I'm saying? But as you become more of a responsible man, man, that hard liquor is crazy. What it does is it starts a process in your body called vessel, let me, I always get it right, vasodilation, vasodilation, okay? And basically what that does is it, it like dilates the blood vessel, which it decreases the blood pressure, you know what I'm saying, in your blood vessels, which brings about erectile dysfunction, okay? And like I say, you know, when you're a young, you know what I'm saying, brother, you just jumping out the porch, you know, you can recover from those things and stuff like that. But as you start to come into your prime, which is right around about your, uh, uh, late 20s on into your 30s and stuff like that uh up until about 45 or something like that uh look that stuff will affect you seriously you know it will kill your prostate you know what i'm saying and you know that's a serious thing out here you know and you know at the end of the day man you know uh we all gonna have things that we like to indulge in but it's almost like, you know, you gotta have priorities over the things 
of the, the temptations that you choose to uh, get into. And, you know, there's absolutely nothing about a so-called black man uh, indulging in hard of brown liquor or so-called black women. But, you know, that's a conversation that I hope so-called black women are having around there. But, um, yeah, man, I want to go ahead and leave it there, man. Uh, be careful with that stuff out there, brother. Because, you know, you can be the next poster boy for the Viagra deal. You did? Because us as black men, we are the most sexually inclined men on the planet. The man of African descent, on average, in comparison to other groups. That's just the truth, you know. And um, we definitely should not be struggling like them, nor should we need their supplements. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it there, man. Y'all comment below, like or dislike the info. But hit the sub button and the bell. I'm going to drop something that you're going to like. It's your folks, Shaka the Urban Philosopher. I'm out. It's 300.